Hey guys, it's Michael Greco here. I'm really thankful to my YouTube audience for helping me make this channel successful. The How to Archive channel. The How to Archive channel is part of the blog uh, on getprostorage.com and it's the How to Archive blog. I think you can just go, it's up behind me here. You can go to getprostorage.com slash blog and this is uh, from our blog. This is choosing the difference between an internal hard drive and an external hard drive, how to choose which one. Um, I've talked about this before, and I, and, and I talk from the perspective of a photographer, but we could talk about this in many perspectives. If you're a filmmaker, if you're uh, recording music, um, anything that you're doing off-site where you would use a hard drive and want to be in the field and want to record data. So I have a Lacy hard drive that I busted open and put a SanDisk uh, almost one terabyte, I think it's 960 uh, SSD drive in, right? And the purpose of doing that is having this very rugged uh, orange Lacy uh, rugged hard drive. It's called rugged. See that? It's got the orange rubber around it and all that. Um, and putting a very, very fast SSD drive from my friends at SanDisk into it. And I've basically made a Megshift external drive that I could take out in the field. It's almost indestructible. And the great thing about it is its read write speed is just amazing. You know, USB 3 or Thunderbolt. I have, I have it in a Thunderbolt chassis is really, really fast, right? It's really fast and I'm able to do an on-site backup uh, of images as I'm shooting from my laptop. Or um, sometimes I've been on, uh, uh, last year I directed a pilot and w it was a two or three camera pilot, Matt here, Matt who's behind the camera was with me. And um, um, we had like four terabytes of data after three or four days of this pilot. So it didn't even fit on my laptop. So to have a bunch of very fast uh, external hard drives to download the data to is really productive. It's really fast, it's really great. In the office though, we use internal drives. So that's a drive without a chassis or that's a drive without um, um, a case. Hang on, I'm gonna get one of each for you. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them. Much better to have them to show you. This is an internal hard drive, right? This is what goes in the computer. Definitely doesn't go in a laptop though. It's too big. Um, but it goes in the computer and it would go in a tower or a regular traditional larger computer. And this is an external drive. And like I said, I like the Lassies because they're pretty indestructible. And I have this one jacked up. It has a Thunderbolt cable and I have it jacked up with a SanDisk uh, nine, uh, uh, 960 gig or, or essentially one terabyte SSD drive. Now, the reason we like this in the field is it's very, very fast and it's indestructible and I can make copies while we're shooting, right? The reason I like this in the office is because it's cheap and it's a standard form factor. What does that mean? A internal Three and a half inch hard drive is pretty much the same size. Everyone, everyone built, everyone is the same. So I'm able to put it into an anti-static foam case and they're all the same. They're cheaper because they don't have the hard case around them. They're cheaper because they don't have cords and plugs and wires around them. And the form factor makes it so that I can set this up and organize them in a system and store all my data on these drives very, very easily. And I don't like going, we've discussed this before, with SSD drives to store data long term because SSD drives, the memory is temporary. It's flash memory. It's like RAM. If something happens to the drive, the, the information disappears. It's in the ether. If something happens to this, it's still on the platters. It's still there. You can retrieve the information if you drop this and it doesn't spin anymore. You can still get the memory off this. And an internal hard drive like this is pretty much the cheapest way to go, uh, you know, for bit for the dollar, right? Four terabytes for or almost six terabytes for 120 bucks. Um, you can't beat it. 